is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure reveals for you guys we got some play set type deal stuff going on we got some new legends we got a lot of stuff to cover here today and i'm very excited about it i can't wait to get into it with you guys and i did not expect this news whatsoever it just kind of dropped on us out of nowhere so very exciting stuff let's go ahead and dive into it guys first up we do have this brand new reckon slam cycle with drew mcintyre figures now this is very crazy and kind of random I know a few people have already talked to about this are just kind of confused by it. It's just kind of random, you know, random red and black motorcycle with Drew McIntyre in jeans and t-shirt and wrist tape. This is, I mean, it's definitely very cool. It's just so random and crazy. You know, with the Slambulance, it makes sense because it's like, yeah, we've seen Braun Strowman in the car. It's like, yeah, he, he he broke up that car. And I know we did get that later, so maybe they, they plan on doing some moment with a, with a, you know, a motorcycle on WWE television. I'm not exactly sure, but this is very weird. You know, it's got the nice kick stand on there you got the nice i mean it's so, it's just so funny man you got the nice like black tribal going on on the motorcycle and everything like that i'll definitely be customizing this thing because it really doesn't scream motorcycle i feel like it needs to have some custom flame paint job or something i know it has the black flame sort of on the on the engine or right there by the gas tank but i don't know I, i'm not uh i don't know we'll just have to see about that but yeah drew mcintyre coming in he doesn't have a neck it's the same head sculpt we've seen uh, very no neck Drew McIntyre they just put his Trunks logo in the middle of his t-shirt figures like this are so funny to me man I, I just Jesus Christ it's so funny but anyways that is not the only version we get we have the Drew McIntyre that breaks the pieces you guys know that's the whole deal behind the slamming you know ambulance and car and motorcycle that we have it's always going to break apart because it's supposed to be like a play set but we also have an Undertaker version now this version is superior this version is badassery I am really digging the Undertaker version you you have the Undertaker figure with his gloves on. It looks like they did actually mold his hands in black and they didn't paint the skin tone on there. So it does have, it, even though it's the Undertaker mold, it is in full black. You also have the blacked out. Sick AF graphics with the with the lightning and the gray flames going on with the with the uh, the motorcycle for the Undertaker. I definitely like the Undertaker one more. He has a more creative T-shirt. He's got you know his logo with like the lightning bolts and the RIP on the center there. It's the Elite 79 head sculpt, so we get a great head sculpt with the guy. And you know that the Undertaker uses a bike. He's a, he's a bike rider. He he even did it for his gimmick for a long time. So the bike fits Undertaker much more than Drew McIntyre. But I thought that was absolutely hilarious seeing. Drew McIntyre on that bike and everything like that. I think that is hilarious. But the Undertaker version is sick. It has the purple packaging that ties in. I'm definitely going to try and probably put some purple on this motorcycle in some way. I'm not exactly sure, but it is it is cool to add another vehicle to our garage of our WWE figures. But I had to cover this. I had to put this up to you guys and show you guys this. But that is not all we have. We do have some more stuff going on, guys. So you guys know the other day we talked about the championship two packs, right? We talked about, you know, the champion showdown packs. What would that entail? Well, Brad, I was wrong. It was not to get WWE figure belts into the lines. It is more of a WWE toy belt. So basically, it's just a championship showdown pack. It's just a battle pack with some stands is pretty much what this is. So in the set, the first figures we have is Roman Reigns and Finn Balor. I love the packaging. The championship showdown text down there with the, the pictures of the wrestlers. You got the names. And they come with these sick-ass stands. So on the left, you guys will see they have the Roman Reigns and the Finn Balor stands. And it looks like they're side plates from when they were champion and so you can actually stand these figures on the on the side plates which is the figure stands and I think this is great I think it's great I think it looks sick AF um I don't think you necessarily want to use the basics with it I think you need to put your elites on these things man you can you imagine a sick AF demon Finn Balor standing on this Finn Balor side plate I think that's really cool I will say the figures are pretty plain Jane we've seen this Roman vest before we've seen this Roman face we've seen this Finn Balor head sculpt before so nothing like that but if you're a mock collector for battle packs or if you like stands and stuff, these look really badass. You guys remember the Jeff Hardy and Undertaker? Now, this one might disappoint some people. Pulling it up, it actually is from the classic ladder match, ladies and gentlemen. We have the side plates for Jeff Hardy and Undertaker. The side plates look good, but the figures themselves. The Undertaker looks really badass. I love the head sculpt on the Undertaker, the t-shirt. That's a really good basic Undertaker, actually. I like that head to toe. That is a sick AF Undertaker basic. I love that head sculpt. That may be one of the best 
damn Undertaker head sculpts we've ever seen. But this Jeff Hardy, Brad, I am not feeling this Jeff Hardy whatsoever. I do not like this Jeff Hardy. You know, you have your white tank top, white shoes, black pants. Like, the armbands and stuff like that don't really bother me. But this head sculpt, bro, this is the same exact head sculpt that we have seen since he signed back with the company. The head sculpt is the same Jeff Hardy. They just removed the hair and they placed on a short hair sculpt. And I think what it is is the hair, first of all, sits way too high on the head. Like, it is clearly sitting way too high. I think you could probably fix it. He does have the nice glow-in-the-dark paint on his forehead, which I do appreciate. But I will say, you need to remove this hair. You're going to have to sand down the top of the head and then re-glue it back. It would probably look a 100 times better. And you do get a short hair piece for other Jeff figures that you may want to use. But he just looks odd to me. I do not like this. It just sits so far up on his head that it looks super odd. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section. The Undertaker looks super badass. Such a good head sculpt. It's, it's so crazy. But the Jeff figure, I am not feeling that, Brad. We'll have to get into that later on. But the last championship showdown pack we have is Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. And the only thing I have to say about these figures is they just look super cheap. The, the Alexa Bliss and the Sasha Banks. I think the Sasha Banks looks more cheap. It's like the green color they used or something. Just makes this figure look like a McDonald's toy or something. I'm not exactly sure. But Alexa Bliss's head sculpt is solid. I like the Sasha Banks uh, hair sculpt with the with the braids in there, it seems, or maybe curled. It just kind of looks like braids from this angle. But I like the head sculpts we're getting. Just the rest of the figure from the, you know, the head down. I still like the side, or the side plate stands that they got going on. But the rest of the figures do look cheap. Um, I like these Championship Showdown packs. Like, I I like the the idea is cool i like the the figure stands and everything like that but i don't know i feel like something i don't know something else has, has got to go on with these things we got to get better at the head sculpts or at least that jeff hardy jesus man next up guys we have a new wwe championship toy belt now at first i thought when we got this belt i thought when you bought the side plates i thought it was going to come with side plates that you could plug into your championship that is not actually the case but this wwe championship actually is going to come with three sets of plates okay so on the side plates you have the regular wwe logo you have the drew mcintyre side plates and then you have the fiend side plates that you can actually plug into the championship so i think that's pretty cool i thought you know you bought you know you buy the belt and then you buy the the championship showdown packs and then you could plug those side plates into the actual championship i don't think that's how it works i felt like they uh, you know it has first of all it has the stand on it it has the little piece for the figure to plug in and secondly it only comes with one so you'd have to buy two of the battle pack to be able to do that so i don't think that's the case i could be wrong I do, I highly doubt that is the case there, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, the bottom of the title, or the bottom of the championship figure stands, the bottom has a little tick on it, just like the side plates that are coming with the toy belts, so I guess maybe you can. Maybe it just has the peg sticking out, and then uh, you can buy two of them and then make that look that way. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see about that, but that is something that I did notice. Next up, guys, we do have more Legends figure images, and we have Legends Series 9 Undertaker, and he is going to come with his entrance coat and hat. This is a badass figure. He also has his tie. I think the last time we looked at this, he didn't have all those accessories, but the head sculpt looks good. This trench coat is immaculate. Can't wait to put this on other figures. You can put this on Demon Finn Balor. You can put this on Edge. You can put this on so many different guys. I mean, there's a ton of guys that can go with this entrance coat, so I'm just going to be looking out for this figure just for the entrance coat alone. I mean, it's a good head sculpt anyway, but Undertaker's looking really, really good. You also have both versions of Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. We already saw these images. Nothing new with these. They do look good, though. I like the way this figure looks. We've covered it multiple times. Again, going to have to probably get myself one of those pink and silver coats and then customize one for My Damn Nation or something for my own figure, so that is probably something I'll be doing, but not only do we have Ted DiBiase and Undertaker, guys but the last figure in legend series 9 is going to be tatanka so we have tatanka returning to the wwe elite line for the first time since elite 47 i think he was in the you know the first wave of aj styles figures in elite 47 found that figure at target i think or no it wasn't target it was kmart you dumb jackass so tatanka will be in this set uh this time he has his long tights on and one thing of note this is very noteworthy if you guys remember Tatanka's Elite 47 figure was on ball joints, and this figure, if they use the exact same formula, which it looks like they are, he will be on ball joints, and he will have white legs so that we can switch that out with other guys that have jack legs like that. So that is very big for us customizers, figure part swappers, and things of that nature. This Tatanka figure is looking baller, and I can't wait to get this in here and see if we can switch out some of those parts and stuff. But the last figure in the Legend series is Nikolai Volkov, which we've already covered in this in this uh, juncture before. We've already seen all that 
and everything. And the last figures that we have, guys, are going to be the brand new top talents basics that we just, I mean, didn't we know it, Brad? We freaking knew that this would be the case. They are all rehashed. This is the same exact basics that we've seen. Unless these are the ones that are already hitting Walmart, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the brand new wave that's coming out, and it's the same head sculpts for all four of them. It's the same attires, practically, for all four of them. It is nothing no noteworthy. Same smiling bronze, same rock. Just very basic. No reason to pick these up for me, at least. Uh, if it was the pissed off Roman, I'd probably grab this when it came to retail because I want a bunch of that pissed off Roman head sculpt for fix ups and customs and things. But I have no reason to pick up these top picks figures and stuff like that but I think that is it for the reveals um, I think the biggest thing of noteworthy today is definitely the slam cycle and then I like the championship showdown two packs I do not like that Jeff Hardy head sculpt I would love to know please God let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section below that would really appreciate it I still plan on uploading my damn vlogs um, probably later today if I don't upload it later today it'll just be tomorrow's upload so you guys can look forward to that I thought it'd be uploaded today we'll have to see and do not forget to comment and leave me a like for a potential shout out in a future video. Huge shout out to WWE Fan 14 for this comment on our video yesterday. MDT, I don't want to break the ear slash beard. Me, come on, break, break, lol, laughing, crying emoji. Pretty upsetting that my fans want me to be upset and waste my money on my Kevin Owens head sculpts. I'm just kidding, Brad, but seriously though, I, uh, I do think about that sometimes. I'm like, I bet people want me to fail so that they get me in a funny reaction or something like that, but anyways, we did not break the Kevin Owens, so I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm sure you were just kidding anyway but thank you so much to wwe fan 14 for the comment but uh this is going to count as the double upload i guess because it's uh you know it's wwe figure news and we had to get it up but anyways guys that is going to do it for today's video thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you